beautiful children of the most high God, the infinite restorer. It is with immense joy and gratitude that I extend my warmest greetings to every one of you. If this is your first time here, we are happy to have you. Blessings be unto you. It is an honor to be your guide on this sacred journey of spiritual discovery and restoration. Here on Infinite Restorer, we delve into the depths of divine truth and explore the eternal mysteries of God's restoration plan for humanity. This is a journey of faith, hope, and divine love, a journey that invites each of us to awaken to our true essence and reclaim our divine inheritance. Throughout our videos, we will delve into the timeless wisdom of scripture and spiritual teachings, illuminating the path of restoration that has been laid out for us since the dawn of creation. We will uncover the divine blueprint for healing, transformation, and wholeness, reminding ourselves of the infinite grace and mercy that flow from the heart of our Creator, intended to enable us to live victoriously. Here is a sanctuary of hope and redemption. No matter how lost or broken we may feel, we are never beyond the reach of divine love and forgiveness. Open your hearts to receive the blessings that await you. And may you find solace, inspiration, and transformation in the sacred truths that we will uncover together. Please feel free to leave your comments, like and share our videos. Subscribe to become a valued member and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you will not miss any of our newly uploaded videos. May the light of divine love guide you on your part of restoration. What are the Psalms? The Psalms are a collect, great collection of songs and prayers which expresses the heart and soul of humanity. In them, a whole range of human experiences are expressed. The writers of the Psalm either confess their sins, express their doubts and fear, or ask God for help in times of trouble and praise and worship Him. In the psalm, believers are heard crying out to God from the depths of despair, singing to Him in the heights of celebration and sharing their honest feelings with God. Men and women through the history has come again and again to the book of Psalms for comfort during times of struggle and distress and has been able to rise from the depths of despair to new heights of joy and praise as they also discover the power of God's everlasting love and forgiveness. Psalms are a great help in your restoration spirit, mind, and body, as it helps you to understand and guides you into a deep and genuine relationship with God. If at any time you are struggling to pray, turn to the Psalms. Saying them will help bridge the gap in your relationship with God and activate the Spirit of God within you. There are five themes in the Psalms. Number one, praise. Psalms are songs of praise to God as our creator, sustainer, and redeemer. Praise is recognizing, appreciating, and expressing God's greatness. 
its importance. Focusing our thoughts on God moves us to praise Him. The more we know Him, the more we can appreciate what He has done for us. Number two, God's power. God is all powerful and He always acts at the right time. He is sovereign over every situation. God's power is shown by the way He reveals Himself in creation, history, and His word. Importance of God's power. When we feel powerless, God can help us. His strength can overcome the despair of any pain or trial. We can always pray that He will deliver protect and sustain us number three forgiveness many psalms are intense prayers asking god for forgiveness god forgives us when we confess our sin and turn from it the importance of forgiveness because god forgives us we can pray to him honestly and directly when we receive his forgiveness we move from alienation to intimacy and from guilt to love number four thankfulness we are grateful to god for his personal concern help and mercy not only does he protect guide and forgive us but his creation provides everything we need the importance of thankfulness when we realize how we benefit from knowing God, we can fully express our thanks to Him. By thanking Him often, we develop a spontaneous and a real and active prayer life. Number five, trust. God is faithful and just. When we put our trust in Him, he quiets our heart because he has been faithful throughout history we can trust him in the time of trouble and the importance of trusting God people can be unfair and friends may desert us but we can trust God knowing God intimately drives away doubt fear and loneliness that we may Feel from day to day so Psalms is an important tool to use in the process of restoration spirit mind and body hallelujah so let's get started sit back relax meditate while I read this psalm for you The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness of the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Highlights from Psalm 24. Psalm 24 begins by telling us that the earth is the Lord's. It wasn't enough for David to say that the entire earth belonged to the Lord because he created it. 
He added that all its fullness also belonged to the Lord. God is the possessor of all. Because of this fact, we are strots or caregivers who should be committed to the proper management of this world and its resources. But we are not to become devoted to anything created or act as sole proprietors. God's ownership of this earth extends to the people who live upon it. Through the rights of creation and continuing provision, God has a claim upon every person who has ever lived. The Psalms also speak about the moral character of the one whom God receives. This would be he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. This speaks of a man or woman who is pure in both their actions and intentions. This one can ascend the hill of the Lord and stand in his holy place. God rules the earth on a moral foundation. He is concerned with the moral behavior of mankind. The one accepted by God also rejects idolatry in his actions, but especially in his soul. The words we speak are a good indication of the state of our heart, the inner man or woman. One who makes deceptive promises finds no welcome from God. God greatly values honesty. Dishonesty comes easily, especially when complete truthfulness could cause us something, make us uncomfortable, or put us in an unfavorable light. Dishonest communication hinders relationships. Without honesty, a relationship with God is impossible. If we lie to others, we begin to deceive ourselves. God cannot hear us or speak to us if we are building a wall of self-deception. Psalm 24 also speaks about the promise of blessings to the righteous man. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. God knows and cares about the moral behavior of men and women. He rewards those who honor him with their lives. The psalmist David spoke of vanity in this psalm. In this case, vanity refers to falsehood and swearing deceitfully means telling lies on the oath. This psalm was said to be often set to music and was used in corporate worship. The people desired to have the presence of God among them, so they admonished his great power and strength and might in granting them deliverance in battle. The psalmist also call God the King of Glory. This psalm was not only a battle cry for the church, it also looks forward to Christ's return and the entrance into the new Jerusalem. Praises to the Most High. Thank you for visiting my restoration channel. I trust that you have received some value from my discussion. Please leave your comments, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. This will be helpful so that I can continue to bring you more restoration gems. This is Infinite Restorer, sending you more peace, more love, more light.
Until I see you again, stay well. Thank <music> you.